And amid all the devastation and all the sadness, the devastating earthquakes half a world away tonight, people on the streets of Istanbul, Turkey, took a moment to reflect. They were out there. They had their candlelight vigil marking one month since the first destructive hurricane, because remember, there was more than one. Tens of earthquakes, rather, tens of thousands died, and even more have left, have nothing left now. Tonight, our Aaron Jones catching up with a doctor who just got back from Turkey and Syria after those earthquakes to explain why she felt the need to go there herself to help. Okay. I thought I was getting the strongest. With more than a dozen containers of relief supplies and a small personal suitcase, two weeks ago, Dr. Nora Abdullah boarded a flight to Turkey, not knowing what to expect. Seeing things in person always brings things into perspective. Um, so many of them are sleeping in their cars. So many people are sleeping in tents only because, you know, they don't know when the next earthquake will happen. They don't know if they can even go home to a place that could potentially fall to the ground. Abdullah, a psychiatrist in Dallas, says instantly she saw the toll it's taking on mental health. Most people that you would walk, you would see in, in Turkey or Syria now um, are just terrified. Working with the nonprofit Med Global, she joined other doctors to provide support. For her, this trip was personal. As a Syrian American, I felt very drawn to this. Um, I have been following the Syrian conflict for so long. The average person that's in that area has been displaced over at least five or six times. Some people even report at least 10 times. During her two weeks working in disaster zones, she did as much as she could. We were able to go to different hospitals. We were able to see different patients that were on the floors. To be able to just, you know, offer a fraction of what they need was was very rewarding. Why is it important to address the mental health aspect and what effects can it have on you if you don't address it? If we're able to address the mental health issues um, head on and, and with as much support as possible, some people that might, you know, experience regression or that might experience any sort of um, negative consequences to what they went through, if addressed properly, can actually go through some growth. She says a two week trip was not nearly enough time. I mean, there's only so much that you can do as one doctor or in our case, three psychiatrists. That's why they trained more than 100 people on how to address mental health issues. Abdullah giving them the tools they need, telling us if there's an opportunity to return, she'll take it. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS News, Texas.